Hi guys, Paul Dombowski again from Liberty Street Software. Had a question from a customer recently, and what they want to do is be able to print out labels with the Coin Manage ID, which is the unique uh, number we assign to each uh, coin record you enter. They want to uh, uh, print out labels with the Coin Manage ID represented as a barcode, and so we're going to show you how to do that. First of all, we've got uh, we hook, hooked, hooked up to this computer, we have a Brother QL570 label printer. It's a reasonable price, $55. However, uh, they make their money on the uh, labels themselves, so they, the actual printer is not that expensive. Um, we're using uh, Brother DK1201 addre uh, regular address labels to, for this example. And so let's get, it, let's get started. Uh, under the reporting menu, we have edit labels and if you notice here you've already got a template for the brother DK1201 so the best if you've already got a template for the printer or I'm sorry for the address labels you're using the best thing to do is usually edit that one so we're gonna select it hit open and as you can see here we've already got the uh, label designed now right now we've got uh, this actual barcode field is, is set up for coin barcode 128 and that means uh, output the coin barcode field as a code 128 barcode now we want to change it so that it's going to output the coin manage coin ID um, as a barcode so what we can do here is double click on the barcode field and instead of selecting one of those we're going to select formula and we're going to click on the edit button now what we're going to say here is we're going to use one of the functions you can see here the, the label designer has many many different types of functions and one of those is called barcode and what that means basically is take uh, take one of the coin manage fields in this instance it's going to be coin dot coin manage ID and the second parameter is the format you can output barcodes in pretty much every possible type of format. Uh, one of the more common ones is called Code 128 here, so we'll select that. Hit the right bracket, hit OK. OK again, and as you can see here, with this, uh, the previous barcode has now been replaced with the one we wanted. So we're going to save this under a different file name, which is always a good idea. We're going to click Save As and we'll just append new to this file name click save and we should be done here now to output the actual labels themselves what you, what you can do you can output in many different ways if you just want to output the labels for a few coins let's say we just want to output the label for these three coins here you can uh, select the first one hold down the shift key select the, the third one and right mouse click select print labels using and we're going to select the template we just created open now be aware here you need to change it to the actual print you're going to print to so we're going to change that to brother ql 570 hit ok and we're good to go now we're going to click start and we'll see the labels being printed out So here we have three labels, one for each coin that we wanted to print out, and you can see the barcode with the coin manage ID below for each one of these uh, three labels. So the labels have been printed out, and um, as you can see here, this is what they're going to look like. And that's that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and bye bye.